My name is Nicholas Powers with Wolfspeed. I'm the Global Distribution Technical Manager, and I'm here today to introduce SpeedValKit. This is our modular evaluation platform for silicon carbide products, both MOSFETs and diodes. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to set this up to take a double pulse test. A double pulse test is really important in silicon carbide MOSFETs because it gives you the dynamic characteristics of the MOSFET, which really helps set the efficiency of your final system. You can get your static characteristics fairly Fairly easy, but when it comes to dynamic characteristics, you need to test it at the voltage and current load of your actual system to know how it'll behave there. We have our data sheets and we do a lot of work to make sure they're accurate, but nothing is going to be more accurate than testing it under your specific conditions. So now we're going to take our power device daughter card. This features the silicon carbide MOSFETs. It attaches to the motherboard here. And then we take the gate driver daughter card and attach it just in front of the power card. And the ribbon cable attaches to provide gate drive signal. Now the air core inductor hooks onto the screw terminals on the back of the board. This provides our inductive load for the double pulse test. And from there, we start attaching the probes from the oscilloscope. The current monitor attaches to a header just under the device daughter card. The passive sensor attaches to measure our drain to source voltage of the low side MOSFET. And then our optical isolated probe attaches to give us our gate drive signal. Normally you wouldn't need an isolated probe on the low side signal, but it's definitely important for the high side system when doing full power testing. With that, we're now ready to take the test measurement, except for we have to grab the low side double pulse cable, which is actually attached to our oscilloscope, providing our drive signals, and it attaches to the BNC jack that is low side in. The double pulse test gives you the characteristics of the vise as it turns on and turns off and goes into reverse recovery. This system will let you test it at the voltage and current levels important for what you want to do. The oscilloscope itself can actually drive the double pulse test. Now to take the dynamic characteristics double pulse test, you hit the burst mode on the oscilloscope. Now we have a new set of waveforms that provide us with our turn on energy, our turn off energy, and our reverse recovery characteristics. Using these, we know exactly how this is going to work in our system. Now that you've taken the dynamic characteristics at this setup, you can change it as you might need for the load of your system. You can change the inductance attached. You can change the voltage level that you're running the MOSFET. You can even test different MOSFET types. So whether it's through hole or surface mount quickly by just swapping out the MOSFET card. Or if you wanted to evaluate a different gate drive system, you can do the same with the gate drive daughter card and test new gate driver solutions to find the best fit for your system. To learn more, please contact your Aero representative or visit wolfspeed.com slash speedvalkit.